Well, you guys asked for it, so here it is. In our last video, we turned this brushed whoop into a drift cart. And based off the results, we read the comments and we noticed that you guys were very, very interested. We decided to come up with our own design and we created the B cart. So thanks to XMFTV's design, we got inspired and decided to create our own. After many revisions and a lot of testing, I believe that we finally have a version ready for you guys, the public. So not only does it look more slick, bruh, but it actually drives better and it's easier to build. Let's jump straight into the build so we can turn this into this. Before we start the build, this is exactly what you're gonna need. Obviously a whoop. And we actually recommend that you use an Acrobee 65 because we mainly designed it around that. But if you want to use a different whoop that uses Betaflight, you're more likely to go ahead and do that. But we highly recommend that you use the Acrobee 65. Another thing you're gonna need is tools and the STL file to print the B card. Another thing that we recommend is that you print the body, the spoiler, and the flight controller holder in PETG with 10% infill and the tires in TPU with 5% infill. And obviously, you're gonna need tools. We got an X-Acto knife, screwdriver, tweezers, and a prop tool. So first, we're gonna start off by removing our props. So let's go ahead and use our new drum prop tool. Remember, you wanna go from the bottom. Insert it into the bottom of the shaft of the motor, and then just push up, and the prop should come off. Some might be hard, some might be easy. You guys know how it is. Not everything in life is perfect even though we wish it was. So now after we have removed the props, now we're gonna go ahead and grab the drone, flip it over, remove these rubber bands or O-rings, whatever you wanna call them. And that keeps our wires safe from going into the props. And then with the same prop tool that we used to remove the props, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the motor plugs. Go side to side, it should come off. And do that with all four. Next, you wanna go ahead and grab your Phillips and then we're gonna go ahead and be unscrewing the canopy. Remember, there's four screws. The left, back, and then the right. And then when you remove the canopy, you got one more right here in the front. Don't forget that one, a lot of people do. Next, after we have removed the screws, go ahead and remove the flight controller from the frame. Do not unplug the camera up wires or the antenna. You can keep it like this because that's how it's gonna go in the cart. Now, let's do this. All right, this is the next step. We're gonna remove the motors from the frame. Now, this step is gonna be pretty difficult for some people and for others it might be easier. But, just push it out. There we go. And I push it between the wires, not on the motor wires itself. Now, remember guys, this is at your own risk. Go. There's one. Now let's do that three more times. Be careful with the motor wires. Don't just yank it out and make sure that this goes through, goes fully through so you don't damage a motor wire from the back. So you guys are probably wondering, what is holding that beautiful wheel on the drift B cart? Well, guess what? We are using a 0.8 millimeter ASI prop. You're gonna have to remove the blades in order for you to put it in here. Now, I know some of you probably feel very bad about damaging a new prop, but don't worry. If you have an old one, which we highly recommend you do, so you don't have to damage your new ones, use those. But it does have to be a 0.8 millimeter as you prop. And also this part can be dangerous, so please be as careful as you possibly can. All right, so there's two ways of doing it. You can snip it, or you can just go ahead and grab the blade and just keep twisting until it comes off. There we go. All right, so the last one was actually kind of difficult because I got sweaty hands. So if you guys are like me with sweaty hands, this is where the dangerous part comes in. So please, if you're under 18, do it under parental supervision. But if you're over 18, do it at your own risk. And we're just gonna cut the edge and just cut it down. There we go. And then obviously trim off the other edges. Pretend like you're cutting vegetables, but instead it's an azzy bro. And cut straight down. Don't cut towards yourself, and don't slice your uh, towards your hand or your towards uh, towards someone. Always away from yourself. Down. Let's do the 
this other corner right there. There we go. Okay, so after we have cut off all the prop hubs, now let's insert them into the wheel. They're all fresh, nice, and clean. After you have grabbed your prop hub, you want to go to insert it into the center of the wheel. And there's, a, there's obviously one side where you can really insert it. You can't really mess the step up. So let's just push it in there. Might be a little bit difficult, might not. Let me just push it in. Boom. Make sure it's flat. And there you go. So now we're going to show you how to install the motor into the wheel hub. Because if you do it wrong, this can happen. And you don't want that to happen, guys. So, if you guys want to prevent that, don't just grab your wheel and just push it in like this. Because once you push it in, this little black side of the motor is going to pop out. And then there goes your windings and all that copper. And your motor is cooked. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab your tweezers. Put the wheel in just a little bit. Not all the way in. Don't push. And then, put the tweezers in between the wires. And then just push down so we have... There you go. Now we have equal amount of force in the back and doesn't just come out. So now it's going to do that with the other three. You want to make sure you put both of the counterclockwise motors on the left side of the car and you want to make sure you put both of the clockwise motors into the right side of the car. We're going to start off by putting it in and then we want to yank the wire a little bit, not crazy hard. And then you go ahead and just push it in there gently. It might be a little bit hard. Obviously, it depends on your printer. And don't push it all the way in like that. You want to prevent that. So, if that does happen, like right now, just push it out. So make sure that black cap at the end of the motor aligns with the end of the body frame. You don't want it to go all the way in. You guys can see that little motor extrusion right there. That is completely normal. Trust me, you don't want it all the way in because then there's going to be friction between the wheel and the body frame. You want it just like that. This is the best way to do it. So for the rear, when you install the motor, you want to make sure you route the wires in this little groove that right here that we designed. So you don't squish the motor wires when the battery goes in. Insert it. Just like how we did with the other one. Not all the way through. And then grab your motor wires and twist it and put it right in between that groove right there. After we have finished installing our wheels into the body, now we're going to go ahead and install the flight controller mount. Now I know some of you might just want to put in here and just push down. If you are going to push down, you want to push down with the sides that have the poles, not from the sides that don't have any support because that's just how you break it. So we have one right there. Insert it, push in with not too much force. There we go. Until you push it all the way down. It might require a little bit of force, but not too much. And now we can install the flight controller. So now you want to go ahead and grab the motor plug, put it under the flight controller mount, grab it, and then just put it under because that's where we're going to plug it in. And you want to do that with all four motors. So don't go above like this. You want to go in the bottom and then plug it in from right there. Alright, now let's install the flight controller and plug it in. So, remember right side is clockwise, red and blue, and left side is counterclockwise, black and white. And for the flight controller, the back is a USB port, so that goes in the back. So let's go ahead and plug it in like this. Don't yank on the wire either, really hard. There's one. There's gonna be two right there. I'm gonna try to keep it at that height, so I'm not yanking on the flight controller. Oh, the tweezers are gonna come in handy again. All right, so we have plugged in the motors into the flight controller. Now we push it in carefully. Don't be rough on this part. Just like how you guys install a whoop board into a whoop, do the exact same thing on this cart. Or the B cart. The front first, screw it in. Don't go super tight all the way down. As soon as you feel resistance, you want to go slow. And now I can't even go anymore. So that's it. So spin slowly, slowly, slowly until it's almost all the way in. 
And now I'm not really gonna use any of my very super strong strength. And now I feel resistance and that's it. So after we have installed the flight controller, we're gonna organize our wires because we don't want them to get squished or ripped. We need tweezers for this one. There we go. Just like that. Because the battery's gonna come in through the middle because we need that lower center of gravity. So we can do those crazy drifts. And after we have fixed the motor wires, just like that, you wanna go ahead and fix your prop hub and make sure it's flush. And it's not sticking all the way in or sticking all the way out like that. That's how you want it to look. That's how you don't want it to look. Just kind of push out a bit. There we go. Now we're flush on all corners and our motor wires have been organized. Now this is the last step of the build and this is gonna get you plus 20 horsepower because we need downforce. <laughs> Here we go guys. So you guys can see right here, the stems are closer to the to the side of the spoiler. You wanna use that side as the front, not as the back. So the side that's closer to the edge of the spoiler goes towards the front of the car. Just like that. Put it in, push down carefully. Not too forceful. And there we go, we got a freaking spoiler. So after you guys have installed the spoiler and you wanna get even more crazy, we got stickers, guys, so you can make your car look even more crazy. So before we start drifting, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you plug in your whoop into Betaflight, download the CLI dump from the description, copy it, go into the CLI tab, paste it onto Betaflight CLI, type save, then you should be good to go and ready to drift. All right, guys, so we just finished building it, and now we're gonna show you some really cool drifts. So you wanna grab the battery, and put it all the way in guys should be up to right there there we go and then grab the battery plug and plug it in and now we're ready to put some heat in this engine all right guys so let's actually show you the controls real quick just like a regular drone your arm your throttle is actually going to be your throttle just like a regular drone and then with your turning you use your right stick to turn in order for you to go to reverse you disarm just like in turtle mode Flip your turtle mode switch, arm again, and then you use your right stick to go in reverse. And then another cool thing is an awesome feature that Nubi Drone added was the lights. Look at that. We got lights, programmable lights. Congratulations guys, you guys just finished building your beat cart. So comment down below if you guys did build one, what we can improve on or what you would like to see. If you'd like to see a, a bigger spoiler or even a front lip or even LED lights or you know, even more crazy stuff, just comment down below and let us know what improvements we can make. If you guys do some crazy drifts and you have them on video on DVR, tag us at Nubi Drone and we'll be watching them and reposting them because we want to see how crazy you can get. We want to see some crazy Tokyo drifts. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and tag us on your drifting videos. Peace out, guys. Nubi Drone out.